Catherine Sally Lethbridge Stewart, prose, downtime, child of the new world, was born to Fiona and Alistair Gordon Lethbridge Stewart three years into their marriage, which lasted eight years. As a child, her parents never told her of her father's work at unit. She was only aware that he was a military man and was under the impression that it was a boring job. She would often pretend that his absences were due to him having amazing adventures rather than the boring military operations that she believed he was involved in. H-O-M-E-V-I-D, downtime. Kate often had nightmares about monsters being in her room at night. She once found herself lost in a forest with her father unable to find her. Audio, Narcissus, when she was a little girl, her father was stationed in Edinburgh for a time. Audio, the enemy beyond, when she was five, her parents separated due to her father's long absences, with Fiona taking Kate to live near her parents in Chichester. Prose, the scales of injustice, however she and her mother eventually moved into her great-uncle Reggie's old, abandoned house in Pinswick. It was while giving a presentation, about her father, at school that she talked about him fighting monsters. This was scoffed at by the teacher and the other children didn't believe her. Later, at home, she and her mother were confronted by Crinix B. Theta and Alien Spy, disguised as the disbelieving school teacher, looking for information about her father, Unit and the doctor. Through a mixture of Fiona, using her uncle's old service revolver, and Kate's persuasion the creature left the house. Prose, My Daddy Fights Monsters, when Kate was seven, she saw the fourth doctor and Sarah Jane Smith at the unit research unit and was confused when her father told her that the doctor was both a genius and an idiot. Prose, The Day of the Doctor, she also met John Benton, who called her, Little Katie. Audio, Call to Arms, she and her father spent some time at Eelsden House where she befriended Ben Donnelly, with whom she would regularly run up and down the long gallery singing a nursery rhyme about a ghost that haunted the place called the Grey Man. Audio, Invocation, 